In this video, we are going to learn about unit elasticity of demand. Now, the demand, let's read what is the meaning of unit elasticity of demand. Basically, this refers to a situation when the elasticity of demand is equal to 1. Okay? The demand of a particular goods is said to be unitary elastic when any change in its price. So, what we are talking about is there is any change in the price of the commodity brings about proportionate change in the quantity demanded for that goods. So let's say the differential in price is 50%. Okay. Then this will bring about a corresponding change of 50% in the quantity demanded for that goods. Okay. Now let us see one example here which will kind of just make it a little bit more clear. Now in this case, what is happening is that we are given the price of the goods and we are given the demand of the goods. Okay. Now if you notice, there is an increase in the price of the goods from 100 to 150. Now we know that elasticity of demand represented by ED is equal to delta Q okay, divided by delta P wherein delta Q represents the change in quantity demanded right, and delta P represents the change in the price of the commodity in percentage term. Okay. So let's compute delta P and delta Q respectively. Now change in quantity or delta Q is equal to what? What is the change in quantity? From 2000 it has come down to 1000. Right? Now the demand has changed from 2000 to 1000. So delta Q is basically 2000 minus 1000 which is nothing but change in quantity demanded okay divided by original quantity how much is that 2000 multiplied by 100 right or 1000 divided by 2000 into 100 Right? So change in quantity represented by delta Q is basically nothing but change in quantity demanded divided by original quantity in 200. So if I knock off these three zeros, 1, 2, 3, this 2 will divide this 100 to give 50. So delta Q is equal to 50%. So there is a 50% change in the quantity demanded because of certain change in price. Now what is the change in price? So delta P is equal to change in price divided by original price into 100. What is the change in price? The price has increased to 150. So the change is from 100 to 150 meaning 150 minus 100 or 50 divided by the original price. How much is the original price? 100 into 100. This will knock off this, so what we are left with is only 50%. So delta P is equal to 50. So I replace delta P by 50 over here is equal to 1. Which is what I told you. So what has happened in this case is that a particular change in the price of the goods has brought about a corresponding change in the quantity demanded. Now let us see how do we plot this on a graph paper. So let's draw this on a graph paper. Okay, let's take the price zero and let's take the quantity demanded. Okay. So 
this is 1000 this is 2000 this is 3000 the price let's take it as 50 100 and 150 maybe 200 also right now we know that at the price of 100 the quantity demanded is 2000 so the price when the price is 100 the quantity demanded is 2000 so if we draw a straight line we will get case 1 let's represent this by A so point A will be lying over here right when the price increased to 150 which is this the quantity demanded fell to 1000 which is this so again if you draw a straight line let's call this as point B this would lie over here okay now whenever you draw the slope curve for unit elasticity of demand I know I'm not drawing it a straight line but the angle with such curve when the unit elasticity of demand is there is going to be 45 degree okay similarly here also it is going to be 45 degree and this we know of course is 90 degree so this is the graph which is found when the elasticity of demand is equal to 1 or we have a unitary elasticity of demand 